Okay, I want to talk about property rentals. Um, first thing I want to say is in Spain they're separated into two categories, holiday lets and long-term rentals. Um, the long-term rentals uh, are a bit harder to find because a lot of people make a lot of money during the holiday seasons and will lock a lot of buildings up. Um, they're quite happy just to make money three or four months of the year and will lock their places down. Um, you will find holiday rent rentals from about 250 euros upwards. Um, I've seen uh, two or three bedrooms for 250 to 300 euros unfurnished. Uh, the furnished one we're in at the moment is 300 euros for a two bed um, plus bills. One bedroom studio or one bedroom apartment coming at about 300 plus bills if it's fully furnished in a nice area. Now, one of the things I want to point out here is I'm in an ideal spot to point out three different locations. Over here, I can't remember the name of the place, so I apologize for that. It's a bit run down. Um, the shops aren't open. There's a Chinese um, restaurant that's been vandalized on the front of it, which isn't a real good advertising point. Um, so if you paid for something online and thought, yeah, this is our new apartment, turned up here, you could be in a right hole of a place. I mean, I'm not saying it's terrible, but when you see it, it is like um, a, a bit of a 60s tenement sort of place um, where it's all run down. Um, I'd, all I think that's happened there is basically it's been caught when the, the bust happened after the boom and um, basically it, it struggled to survive um, and it's just not been finished. So, But there's people living there and it's just rough. Um, but over here is La Mata, which is where we live. Um, we got a nice place next to the beach for 300 euros, uh, 300 euros a month. But the same rental in high season is about 700 pounds, up to 700 pounds a month. Um, maybe more some some of these are like 350 pounds a week um but the it's got a normal town it's got the chemist the supermarket everything's there there's a population of locals there it's a proper town where this one up the road was built for on tourism so when the tourists ain't there it, it sort of becomes vandalized and run down um, I'm sure it's different during the tourist season, but I was here as a long-term tenant and rented off the internet. I want to be here in, the, in there in the winter. It just doesn't. Sit, it's just not a nice place. Um, I'm sure it'll improve over time, but I just wanted to show you the the two different types. The other thing with the matter is, in tourist season, it's a nightmare to park. There's some of the places got underground car park. And that's one of the things you want to be looking for when renting a place. I haven't got underground car parking. Um, but I may end up just getting rid of the car at some point. Because uh, we really don't need it as much as I thought we might do. Um, there's a good bus service. Um, and, I, and renting a car from the airport is pretty cheap. As and when we need one. So you've got that factor. Um, where that town, the one at the top's a bit run down. Not doing too well. This one is absolutely full in the summertime. It's also um, got a normal town population where the other one is actually built around tourism. The, the point I'm making on those is when you're buying something off, if you're buying a tenancy or a rental offline, be aware that that sort of thing could happen. See if you can find out information on the background of the places first. Torveya is just over to the right as well. That's a pretty major town. It's got everything that towns have, um, from the hospitals to sports complexes to a harbour full of expensive boats. Um, rents there all fall in line with each other. Uh, you know, you can still get a place in Torrevea for 300 a month. Um, I like La Mata because it's a bit quieter. I also tried to go into Torrevea um, the other day to do some paperwork and gave up and went home because I couldn't find a parking space. So there is that problem there as well. But bear in mind, this is December and I couldn't find a parking space. La Mata, I've got no problem at the moment. I might have on Wednesdays when it's market day, but the rest of the week's fine. 12 hours like it every single day. 
Um, but the advantage with that is you can hop on the bus and go to the airport straight from the bus station in the town. If I was on foot, didn't drive, I'd go to Tarvea. But with La Mata, I like, I just like being in a bit of a quieter location, um, slightly out of a towny situation and more into a village sort of population. But the prices are all about the same. Doesn't matter which one of these you live in. But I would also say that if you're looking for a bigger space, look for where it is. Um, get Google Map out. Look, look up things on that area because I, I looked at some places myself that were 300 euros upwards. Um, some were up to about 700 euros a month. Um, some had private pools. Some were like two bed, three bed, five bed. The full mix. But the problem was when you look at some of the locations, they're in um, remote towns. When I say remote, it's about 10 miles away from anything else. Um, not a major thing, but if you forgot milk, for, for example, you might not get get a bloody shop that's got it in there. You might have to travel 10 miles to get it. With us, we're just up the road from Car 4, so we can pretty much get everything there. And on Wednesday, we've got the super, the uh, market in our, in our town. But also, Guadamar, which is just a bit further up, they have markets on a Sunday. So there's a lot going on in this area. But some of these other places, they're developed around tourism, so it's a complex of villas after villas after villas, and not a lot else. Um, okay, you've got your Brit pubs, you've got your takeaway and stuff like that, but you really need to drive everywhere then, because most of the other facilities aren't on, on your doorstep. That's why I like La Mata because we have the hospitals up the road, we've got pharmacies in the town, we've got, the, I don't know how many restaurants, because we're, we're on a beachfront, you know, it, everything's there. So there's those things to consider. But getting a rental isn't difficult. Uh, getting a long-term rental can be, um, not because of the paperwork, but a lot of people prefer to rent short-term because they can make as much money in three or four months as they can with a long-term tenant. Uh, all depends on who owns the building, whether they want to rent it short term or long term. Um, I had somebody want to rent me a place up until April. Great idea. So they, I, I get booted out um, when I'm going into the holiday season and I can't find anywhere else. Fantastic. Everything suits them. <laughs> um, so I turned that one down. But also, if you're coming here, I would say book into book via Airbnb. Get yourself a place for one to two weeks. Seven days might be enough, to be honest, to have a look at some uh, local rentals. And with that, Airbnb, they're cheaper than hotels. You get people with local knowledge. You got people that will probably help you find places or know people with places. Um, we did. We originally had a property set up to move into, but then the person that was renting it. Uh, had had sold it on the basis that they were the owner when in fact they were a broker or a estate agent rental agent whatever you want to call it but they're not a proper one they're a cowboy agent so they were up in Valencia and didn't want to come back to Torrevea because they worked Monday Friday in Valencia and we had arrived on the Monday looking to move in and they were unavailable because they were working in Valencia and didn't want to come back. They didn't want to give us the keys because they didn't have the keys because the owner of the property had the keys. Um, all a bit of a cock up, but at the same time, it's just one of those things. For us, it, it didn't really, it, it created an issue for a few days. Um, we ended up stopping at a few people's places. We stopped over in Barcelona for a day. Um, but we were lucky that we had some friends that actually helped us find the place. Um, and we've got a fantastic place right next to the beach now, which is actually better than the place we were looking at. But I would say rentals vary considerably and you really do need to look at where you're gonna live if you're serious about moving to Spain because you could end up in a right dive and stuck there for 12 months, that's what I say. Somewhere like that, I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. Um, but La Mata, love it. Torvea, I love it, but at the same time, in the tourist season, it's riddled with pickpockets. 
Um, so there's always things that you've got to weigh up when when looking for places. Okay, thanks for watching.